Alright, today, so I'm going to be uh, showing you how to take out the front seat belts because I'm going to get uh, new seat belts for this car. I'm going to get red ones from Safety Recall. It's hard to see. I already have that side done. I did that side just to like see how to do it and whatever mistakes I make, show you how to easily do it on this side. And I'm only doing the front seat belts, the front two, because uh not doing the back because I am going to do a rear seat delete eventually, so I'm not going to have those seat belts, so there's no point in spending the extra money on those two. Yeah, I'm going to show you how to get these out, and then I have to send them out to safety recall, I believe it's called. And uh, they have a 24-hour turnaround time. It's done. I'll show you how to install them once I get them. So uh, I'm not going to tell you what color I'm going with, but when they get here, I'll show you. I have a little pry tool because there's little there's three little christmas trees you gotta uh pry out to get to, the, to get the panel removed because you gotta remove the panel and you're gonna need a t50 torx bit there's two t50 torx bits and then there is one screw up here um mine's a 14 millimeter i know some people have 13 millimeters ford is never really uh good on what <laughs> millimeters they're using but uh so i'll show you how to do this real quick um Back seat is super easy to pop out these two little uh, holes right here. You just, they have a clip that you just press in towards and it will pop up. Same with that side and then it just pulls out. And then uh, I'm going to go to this side and show you guys how to do this side. Since I already have the other side done. But give me So there is a Christmas tree down here. There's one right there that you have to ply out by the footwell. And then... The reason you have to take the back seat out because there's two more in here and you have to be able to pop this panel out the back seat out i took it out of the car and then there's just a little pull tab right here that you just pull and uh let me pull it real quick like that the back seat drops down and then a little christmas tree right here if you can see it one right there and one right there and then the one on the floor, like I mentioned, I'm going to pop these two out real quick. So let me put you guys down. So to get to the seat belt, um, just this cover just pops off super easy right here, this black one. I'm going to just pop it off real quick. Okay, sorry, I needed two hands to pop that off. But once you pop it off, uh, mine is a 14 millimeter bolt right there. I'm going to show you how to get this panel off. So we got to go out to the other side of the car. Got to pop off the panel right here. Pretty easy. I already have mine popped off. Um, like that. All you need is for it to pop up like that. And this panel right here, you just take it and slide it forward. So I'm going to pop it out real quick. Okay, so you just pry the cover off. It's just a couple clips in it. You gotta get this little orange clip out. So the little black part you just lift up and it pops out. Super simple. Let me do that real quick. You gotta get the black part up on that and then it just uh, comes out. So one T50 here. Torx one down here. And then a 14 up here. There's this little cover that pops off right here. And then you get to the T50 and then just... I use my impact to get it easy and then that just clips on right there you just lift it out and <clears throat> it's that simple i'm gonna leave my back seat uh apart and then when i get the new seat belts i'll show you what is up everybody today i got my uh, seat belts back from safety restore and uh i did the ferrari red seat belts as you could see and uh, i'm gonna go put them in the car now um i'm not gonna show you how to put them in cause it's just the reverse of taking them out like i showed you uh Got two, got a bolt down, a uh, 13 millimeter bolt that goes up top. And then there's a 50, T50 Torx bolt that goes on the bottom and then one T50 that goes into the airbag module. So this is the passenger side because it's the one that was plugged in. And this is the driver side. So I'm gonna get these unwrapped and then I'll show you them in the car because there's no need to show you how to just tighten them back up because I showed you all that when I was taking them out. but. I'll show you the after look. All right, so you can see I got the red seat belts in, but um, there's a couple problems here. So, uh, let me show you. Let me get this out of the way. Uh, 
so sorry for the bad lighting, but uh, as you can see, I have this installed, but there's way too much slack. The problem with that is I'm not going to have all this slack and it can't retract back because the little stopper right here, this little black stopper, my guess is too far up. It should probably be an inch or two down on the belt because it just hits the this whatever this is called i don't know what it's called which is a problem too much slack um but everything else installed right on the driver's side but oh man i gotta send this one back so they can fix this because i'm not gonna have slack because that's not acceptable and then the passenger side as you can see is not in because i installed it and this thing passenger or yeah the passenger side is messed up too i'm not going to install a all right i installed the passenger side i had to take it out because right here this is turned like that it's all twisted so my guess with the passenger side is they put this on backwards because from here from the retractor module it's supposed to go straight up come out like this and so when you have the passenger side out of the car, it if it goes straight up, this bolt is facing outward, so you can't bolt it in. So you have to turn it, and it causes a twist in the belt. So my guess is they put this whole mechanism on backwards. And so I have to send both of them back, unfortunately, which, you know, I can't drive my car say almost two weeks to get the belts in from when I sent mine out and that's not their fault they as soon as they fixed them in less than a day they shipped them and it got here in two days so uh, they really have fast shipping back I just chose the uh, like cheapest shipping option to ship them to them so it took about a week and a day to get there so that's why it took almost two weeks to get the belts back that's not their fault at all um but as you can see, this is their fault. Um, kind of sucks because can't drive my car still. Got to take this out, which is easy to take out, thankfully. Uh, send them back. And they're going to reimburse me for shipping them back to them, which is cool. And they're gonna, they want me to do priority mail, so it will be faster. So, so I should have them back within... Hopefully a week. Today is Friday. Um, a bummer. Um, so I got to measure out the slack. See how much slack there is and let them know. It's probably like an inch of slack. Inch, two inches. Nothing much. But that's the update on the safety restore. I mean, they look awesome. Sorry for the bad lighting. I don't have lighting in here right now. Um, I have everything tore apart. But they're awesome. They just, you know didn't come how they were supposed to come <laughs> but yeah uh, i'll update you guys obviously i'm gonna upload this as one video so you'll see all this in one video when they actually get back and they're correct i'm hoping they're correct the second time but uh so i'm gonna take this one out okay and to show you what i'm talking this is the passenger side and you see how the belt goes straight up and then when it gets to the top the bolt is backwards so for this to be right, hold on, let me flip it real quick. I have to flip it like that to get that bolt in and get that bolted in, and it causes that twist in the belt, which is not correct at all. So, I'm thinking they're gonna have to flip this around. I'm not sure, I've never rebuilt a seat belt, but I don't know how you mess up that bad. So, um, I'm gonna be completely open and honest with you guys I'm not gonna if a company does something bad and they mess up I'm gonna show you I'm not gonna be like oh this company is amazing so the fact that they messed up not one but both of my seat belts is kind of crazy you know um especially from a company that's so known for rebuilding seat belts um and I don't know how you mess up that bad twice uh the driver's side is not horrible, I mean, uh, I, I have OCD and I'm, you know, I don't like my car not being up to spec, so there's no way I could live with that slack. This one is just, this one is just messed up. I was going crazy yesterday, 
trying to install these. That's why I didn't really record because I was going to record and then everything was going wrong. I was trying to figure it out and uh, driver's side, you know, not a huge issue. Um, it's not a huge issue just having slack, but it's not something I can live with. My OCD would get the better of me and I'd go crazy. But this one is just, it's a huge mistake. And All right, so, um, sent these out on Friday last week for them to get fixed. The seatbelts from Safety Restore and they just got here. It's Thursday, so, um, took less than a week to get them back after their mistake. Let's, let's see if they got them right this time. Let's see. Alright, so they do work now. So last time this right hand one, passenger side one, sorry. This right here was completely twisted like that. And this was backwards, so this was facing backwards. So when I went to buckle it, it didn't line up right. Fixed it now, um, perfect. So right now I'm about to uh, torque them down to spec in for the top bolt right here is 35 pounds and the two t10s over here or or t50 one t50 here and one t50 down there are 30 so i'm gonna do the t50s third uh, i'm gonna do the t50s first got them torqued down i'll torque the spec um the only thing i really torque the spec i don't really listen to much torques i know that's a bad habit um Definitely seatbelts, so I'm not trying to play with my safety. Anything engine related, and my wheels, of course. My lug nuts are always torqued down the spec, so. Uh, as far as that, I'm gonna plug the airbag thing back in. All right, that's plugged back in. The color, um, red. <laughs> Pretty much everything in my car is red. I have a red car, uh, you can't tell by now favorite color is red um so i did the ferrari red seat belts from safety restore and they're awesome i love them all right so both seat belts work perfectly now um this one doesn't have too much slack anymore like i was saying perfect uh, they both work perfect they look amazing um this one's already torqued down the spec 30 like i said again top bolt 35 30 for the T50 and then 30 for the bottom T50. So just think of it as if you do this, uh, both T50 bolts are 30 foot pounds of torque. And then my 14 millimeters, I think they're usually 13 or 15 for some people are uh, 35. So 35, 30, 30. Super simple. Um, definitely want to torque these down to spec. You don't want your seat belts not to be to spec um, at all. And I'm super happy now um, that they actually work how they're supposed to. And I could actually drive my car again, which is amazing. But uh, I did take my rear seat belts out because I am going to be doing a rear seat delete in this car soon. Hopefully soon. But uh, as of now, safety restore, their belts are awesome. It just sucks that I, you know, I had an issue with them where... Not one, but both seat belts didn't work right, and now they work right, which is awesome. And uh, I couldn't be happier. Um, yeah, this is pretty much it. I'm gonna uh, put everything back once everything's buttoned up, all plastics back in. I'll show you what they look like with everything back on the car. So uh, I'm gonna get that done. I'll show you guys what they look like, then I'll get this video uploaded for you guys. And the seat belts work perfectly fine, so they look like buckled up. Got everything in the back buttoned up again, so yes, sir, looking good. So they work perfectly fine. No more slack in it. Perfect seats back inside and that's all for this video so uh, now i got colored belts which is awesome so i'm gonna get this video done upload it for you guys and on to the next <laughs>